What's up? Mon Show here for another session of Get Schooled. Let's get this session started. Okay, here we go. In what type of application is quality of service very important? Is it A, business ethernet services, B, IPTV, or C, mobile backhaul? Don't know the answer? Don't worry. Sit back, relax. It's time to get schooled. Hi, I'm Dave Morphus here today with Mike O'Malley. Today's subject, quality of service or QoS. Mike, I think the first thing we need to talk about is that service providers are changing their networks to be more IP and Ethernet focused, and in so doing, they need to make them carrier grade. So how does QoS play into that? QoS is very important, Dave, particularly in these networks because these networks were originally designed to be best effort data networks for things like web surfing and things like that. But now as they move forward, they want to migrate those networks to more higher revenue applications, things like wireless backhaul, IPTV, uh, real-time financial transactions, things like that that really require uh, low latency, but very importantly, have to make sure that all of that data gets through. And that's really the importance of QoS. One of the things I think we need to do is differentiate between terms. You hear the term QoS a lot, and then you see or hear the term COS, or class of service, a lot. Is there a difference, and what is it? Class of service, or COS, is really used to group different types of traffic. So it would group together all high-priority traffic into a gold bucket, as an example. So it would segment gold versus silver versus bronze. So it really just uh, classifies different types of traffic. Quality of service is really more deterministic, so making sure that a certain traffic flow gets end-to-end -end across the network. So the example in this case would be a highway model where the left-hand side is class of service based traffic, uh, where that would be gold, silver, or bronze, where gold would normally get through, let's say, on the highway, unless there's a lot of congestion in this case, as opposed to in a guaranteed QoS environment where that would be something like the HOV lane, which is actually reserved for you so that even during peak times, the traffic is guaranteed to get through. So what are the different building blocks or components of QoS? So there are three major components to QoS, policing, shaping, and scheduling. So let's start with uh, policing. Policing, as an example, will use different mechanisms. Uh, in this case, let's talk about uh, a dual leaky bucket example or a dual token bucket example. And in that case, what it does is if a certain amount of traffic type comes in, it takes a look at that traffic then and determines based on two leaky buckets, what should get through. So in that example, if I have one bucket that's uh, assigned the committed information rate, so the amount of traffic that I have to get through each time at a minimum, and then the second bucket is assigned the peak information rate, so the maximum amount that a user is allowed to send. Mm -hmm. And what happens then is as packets come in, the packets go through those, leaky, uh, those token buckets and are looked at and then determine do they meet those constraints. So if the amount of data is less than the committed information rate, then it's marked green and passes through, as an example. If it's over the committed information rate, but less than the peak rate, right, it's marked yellow. So it might get through, you're still within line, but you're over that committed rate, so it's not guaranteed. And then I move to the peak rate uh, token bucket, and if it's over that, then obviously then it turns red, and then it's going to get dropped. The second then would be shaping. And what shaping does is shaping basically takes the burstiness of traffic. When we talk about data applications as an example, uh, and data applications on the web can be very bursty for, for different types of, particularly uh, different types of high bandwidth applications. What it does is it smooths, smooths them out. So if there's a lot of different traffic at one time, it kind of mentors it along and smooths it down so it comes out in a much more smooth flow. And then the third piece then is scheduling. And scheduling, there are multiple different scheduling types. Uh, strict priority scheduling, as an example, uh, would go through and then uh, prioritize, let's say, gold before bronze before silver, right? Uh, but a lot of uh, uh, router manufacturers have moved to things like weighted fair queuing or weighted round robin, things like that, that would go through and instead of just strictly prioritizing one class above the other or one particular service or application above the other, would basically set up weights for each time so that the high, highest priority traffic would always get served and would always get through, but at the same time, those other priorities wouldn't get starved and they would always return to them at least based on some minimum weighting. So we've already talked about all of the different uh, QoS mechanisms in the data plane or in the router itself to handle the data traffic, but we should also mention mechanisms in the control plane. And in that case, a great example of that is CAC, or Connection Admission Control. And that's a, a system that's used to guarantee end-to-end -end bandwidth. In MPLS, a great example of that is RSVPTE. 
Uh, and in that case, what that protocol does is that sends a message end-to-end -end across a particular LSP or across a particular link to make sure that bandwidth is available from end-to-end. -end. And then each individual router responds back, yes, I have bandwidth, yes, I have bandwidth, yes, I have bandwidth. If all of the routers respond yes, then that link is set up and then data can be passed through end-to-end. -end. Mike, in what type of applications is QoS really important? QoS is very important, Dave, in a lot of different applications, particularly any time that there is real-time or very sensitive information being passed. So three great examples of that would be IPTV, business Ethernet services, or mobile backhaul, 3G uh, mobile data services. Let's look at IPTV first as an example. Traditionally, uh, television has been delivered over analog uh, video services, but now moving to IPTV where everything's packetized, now all of those individual video packets need to arrive on time and need to be in the right order and, and shaped correctly, and so it becomes important there. The second piece is from a business Ethernet perspective. In the case of business Ethernet, uh, customers have or, or service providers have ATM and frame customers that they want to move to faster and cheaper Ethernet links, and they need quality of service to make sure that they can guarantee the same type of throughput and get the service level agreements that they're looking for. And then the third example then would be mobile backhaul, where again, now in the case of entertainment services just like IPTV, uh, carriers want to get into delivering those same services over mobile, whether it's mobile video or mobile gaming, on top of handling just voice. And today those have been handled over the TDM uh, network, and moving forward they'd like to move that to the Ethernet network. So again, there's a need to have quality of service over that Ethernet. How does Telebs then address QoS in our product portfolio? Uh, Dave, QoS is very important across all of our products. Uh, Telebs is known as a company that delivers a high amount of reliability across our entire product portfolio, and therefore QoS is very important across the entire range. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work with the Metro Ethernet forum, as an example, MEF14, uh, designed around QoS and traffic management. So QoS is very important across all our products, particularly in the data space, though. Uh, we have a lot of very extensive QoS implementations with our 8800 and 8600 uh, platforms, specifically for things like business Ethernet, again delivering the reliability for uh, guaranteed Ethernet services, or in the case of 8600 for wireless backhaul, uh, to provide over Ethernet, Ethernet pseudo wires with the QoS to handle voice and video multimedia traffic for 3G services, as well as things like IPTV. So QoS becomes important across really the entire portfolio, but particularly across the data products as a way that Telebs is differentiating itself. Are you done? Now you know that was not hard. The correct answer is A, B, and C. Now, nah, today's your lucky day. <laughs> if you missed the answer, you can download a cheat sheet at inspirethenewlife.com. And remember, if you miss a question where all the answers are right, you should probably come back tomorrow and do another quiz with me. <laughs> I'll be waiting.